In life, we encounter a myriad of individuals, each with their own unique personalities and characteristics. While many people bring positivity, joy, and growth into our lives, there are also those who can have a detrimental impact. Recognizing and, when necessary, distancing ourselves from certain types of individuals is crucial for our well-being and personal development. Here are seven types of people whom we should always say no to. Number one, the manipulator. Manipulative individuals possess a cunning ability to exploit others for their own benefit. Their tactics can range from subtle manipulation to more overt forms of coercion. One common strategy is guilt tripping, where they make others feel responsible for their emotions or actions, often using phrases like, if you really cared about me, you would... This tactic manipulates the person into feeling guilty and doing what the manipulator wants to alleviate that guilt. Gaslighting is another insidious technique used by manipulators to distort reality and make their victims doubt their own perceptions. They may deny previous conversations or events, make the victim question their memory, or even suggest that they are crazy or overreacting. Gaslighting can be extremely damaging to a person's mental well-being as it undermines their confidence and sense of reality. Manipulators are skilled at identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities in others. They may target individuals who are empathetic, compassionate, or eager to please, using these qualities to their advantage. By preying on a person's insecurities or fears, manipulators gain control and manipulate them into doing what they want. Recognizing manipulation tactics is the first step in protecting oneself from manipulative individuals. By becoming aware of the signs, such as subtle guilt trips or gaslighting attempts, individuals can empower themselves to respond assertively and set boundaries. This may involve directly confronting the manipulator, refusing to engage in their manipulative tactics, or even cutting off contact altogether if necessary. Ultimately, standing firm against manipulation requires confidence in one's own worth and boundaries. By refusing to be manipulated and asserting one's autonomy, individuals can reclaim their power and protect themselves from the harmful influence of manipulative individuals. Number 2. The Narcissist Narcissists are individuals who exhibit an inflated sense of self-importance and a deep-seated need for admiration and validation from others. They often believe they are superior to those around them and expect special treatment and attention. This excessive self-focus can manifest in various behaviors, such as constantly seeking praise and recognition, boasting about their achievements, or belittling others to elevate themselves. One of the most challenging aspects of interacting with narcissists is their lack of empathy. They often disregard the feelings and needs of others, viewing them solely as tools to fulfill their own desires or boost their ego. This lack of empathy can lead narcissists to exploit and manipulate those around them without remorse, as they prioritize their own needs above all else. Engaging with narcissists can be emotionally draining and detrimental to one's self-esteem. Their constant need for admiration and validation can leave others feeling unappreciated and insignificant. Moreover, narcissists may resort to manipulation tactics, such as gaslighting or guilt-tripping, to maintain control over their relationships and ensure their needs are met at the expense of others' well-being. It's essential to recognize the signs of narcissistic behavior and establish boundaries to protect oneself from their harmful influence. This may involve limiting interactions with narcissists, setting clear and assertive boundaries, and prioritizing self-care. While it can be tempting to try to appease or change a narcissist, it's important to acknowledge that their behavior is deeply ingrained and unlikely to change without professional intervention.
Additionally, seeking support from trusted friends, family members, or mental health professionals can provide validation and guidance in dealing with narcissistic individuals. Surrounding oneself with supportive and empathetic individuals can help counteract the negative effects of interacting with narcissists and bolster one's self-esteem. Before continuing the discussion to point three, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comments about this topic. Number three, the drama magnet. Drama magnets are individuals who seem to attract and thrive on chaos, conflict, and negativity. They have a knack for turning even the most mundane situations into dramatic episodes, often exaggerating events or creating unnecessary turmoil. Whether it's spreading rumors, stirring up conflicts, or seeking attention through melodramatic behavior, drama magnets tend to leave a trail of stress and emotional upheaval in their wake. Interacting with drama magnets can be draining and emotionally exhausting. Their constant need for excitement and validation can disrupt our peace of mind and emotional stability. Moreover, getting caught up in their drama can distract us from our goals and priorities, leading to increased stress and frustration in our own lives. Avoiding excessive involvement with drama magnets is essential for maintaining our well-being and preserving our emotional equilibrium. This may involve setting boundaries, such as limiting the time spent with drama-prone individuals or refusing to engage in gossip or drama-fueled conversations. By distancing ourselves from drama magnets, we can create a more peaceful and harmonious environment for ourselves. It's also important to recognize that we have the power to choose our relationships and associations. Surrounding ourselves with positive, supportive individuals who uplift and inspire us can help counteract the negative effects of drama magnets. Cultivating healthy boundaries and prioritizing self-care can empower us to navigate challenging interpersonal dynamics with grace and resilience. Ultimately, minimizing interactions with drama magnets allows us to focus our time and energy on pursuits that bring us joy and fulfillment. By consciously choosing to surround ourselves with positivity and avoiding unnecessary drama, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and emotional well-being that enriches every aspect of our lives. Number 4. The Energy Vampire Energy vampires are individuals who seem to have an insatiable need for attention, validation, and support, often at the expense of others' well-being. They have a knack for draining the energy and vitality of those around them, leaving them feeling depleted and exhausted after interactions. These individuals may exhibit a range of behaviors, including constant complaining, pessimism, or emotional manipulation, all of which contribute to their draining effect on others. Interacting with energy vampires can be particularly challenging because their negativity and demands can overshadow any positivity or joy in a situation. Whether they are constantly seeking validation, attention, or sympathy, energy, vampires have a way of sucking the positivity out of any interaction or environment. As a result, Spending time with them can leave us feeling emotionally drained, physically exhausted, and mentally depleted. Setting boundaries is crucial when dealing with energy vampires. This may involve limiting the time and energy we invest in interactions with them, as well as establishing clear guidelines for acceptable behavior. Communicating our needs and priorities assertively can help prevent energy vampires from encroaching on our emotional and physical well-being. It's essential to prioritize self-care and protect our energy reserves by avoiding excessive engagement with individuals who drain us. Recognizing the signs of energy vampirism is the first step in protecting ourselves from its detrimental effects. This may include being mindful of how we feel after interactions with certain individuals and acknowledging any patterns of depletion or exhaustion. 
By tuning into our own emotional and physical responses, we can identify energy vampires and take proactive steps to safeguard our well-being. In addition to setting boundaries, it's important to cultivate positive relationships and environments that nourish and replenish our energy. Surrounding ourselves with supportive, uplifting individuals who respect our boundaries and contribute positively to our lives can help counteract the draining effects of energy vampires. Engaging in activities that bring us joy, relaxation, and fulfillment can also help replenish our energy reserves and restore balance to our lives. Number 5. The Chronic Complainer Chronic complainers are individuals who have developed a pattern of consistently focusing on the negative aspects of life, often without actively seeking solutions or taking steps to address their issues. They have a tendency to dwell on problems, setbacks, and grievances, frequently expressing dissatisfaction and discontentment with their circumstances. Interacting with chronic complainers can be emotionally draining and unproductive, as their constant complaints can overshadow any positive or constructive conversation. Listening to the complaints of chronic complainers can be exhausting, as they often seem to have an endless list of grievances and grievances. Despite receiving empathy and support from others, they may continue to dwell on their problems without making any efforts to find solutions or improve their situation. This perpetual cycle of negativity can create a toxic atmosphere and drain the energy of those around them. While offering support and empathy to chronic complainers can be beneficial, it's important to encourage them to take proactive steps towards finding solutions to their problems. This may involve gently guiding them towards reframing their perspective or brainstorming potential solutions together. By empowering chronic complainers to take ownership of their problems and seek constructive solutions, we can help break the cycle of negativity and encourage personal growth. However, if chronic complainers persistently refuse to take responsibility for their attitude and continue to spread negativity despite efforts to support them, it may be necessary to distance ourselves from their influence. Constant exposure to their complaints can take a toll on our mental and emotional well-being, hindering our ability to maintain a positive outlook and focus on our own goals and priorities. Setting boundaries with chronic complainers is essential for protecting our own emotional health and preserving our energy. This may involve limiting the amount of time we spend with them or politely redirecting conversations towards more positive topics. By prioritizing our own well-being and maintaining healthy boundaries, we can mitigate the negative impact of chronic complainers on our lives and create space for positivity and growth. Number 6. The Toxic Influencer Toxic influencers are individuals who wield a harmful impact on our lives, often leading us down destructive paths or encouraging unhealthy behaviors. Their influence may manifest in various forms, such as pressuring us to engage in risky activities, adopt negative mindsets, or compromise our values and boundaries. Interacting with toxic influencers can have detrimental consequences for our well-being, as their actions and attitudes may undermine our self-esteem, derail our goals, and perpetuate cycles of negativity. One of the most insidious aspects of toxic influencers is their ability to manipulate and exert control over others. They may use tactics such as manipulation, coercion, or emotional blackmail to compel us to conform to their expectations or engage in behaviors that are detrimental to our health and happiness. By exploiting our vulnerabilities and insecurities, toxic influencers can erode our confidence and sense of agency, making it difficult to break free from their influence. Recognizing the detrimental impact of toxic influencers is essential for safeguarding our well-being and preserving our autonomy. This may involve acknowledging the ways in which their influence has negatively affected our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, 
and taking proactive steps to distance ourselves from their sphere of influence. By setting boundaries and asserting our own values and priorities, we can protect ourselves from the harmful effects of toxic influencers and reclaim control over our lives. Distancing ourselves from toxic influencers may require courage and resilience, especially if they hold significant sway over our social circle or personal relationships. However, prioritizing our well-being and surrounding ourselves with positive influences is crucial for fostering growth, resilience, and self-empowerment. By seeking out supportive relationships and communities that uplift and inspire us, we can create a nurturing environment that encourages personal growth and fulfillment. Number 7. The Chronic Excuse Maker The chronic excuse maker is an individual who habitually avoids taking responsibility for their actions and shortcomings. Instead of acknowledging their mistakes or shortcomings, they consistently shift blame onto others or external circumstances, deflecting accountability for their behavior. This pattern of behavior can be frustrating and detrimental, as it undermines trust, hinders problem-solving, and impedes personal growth and development. Engaging with chronic excuse makers can be challenging, as their unwillingness to take accountability can create friction and conflict in relationships. Constantly making excuses not only erodes trust and credibility, but also prevents meaningful dialogue and resolution of issues. Over time, this pattern of behavior can strain relationships and hinder effective communication, ultimately stalling personal and interpersonal growth. Interacting with individuals who refuse to take accountability can hinder our own personal growth and development. Constantly making excuses can create a toxic environment that stifles progress and innovation, as individuals are reluctant to take risks or confront challenges head-on. Additionally, being surrounded by chronic excuse makers can erode our own sense of accountability and integrity, making it easier to justify our own shortcomings and avoid taking responsibility for our actions. Surrounding ourselves with people who exhibit accountability and integrity is essential for fostering a positive and growth-oriented environment. Accountability fosters trust, collaboration, and mutual respect in relationships, creating a supportive foundation for personal and professional growth. By surrounding ourselves with individuals who demonstrate accountability and integrity, we can cultivate a culture of transparency, honesty, and responsibility that encourages continuous improvement and learning. In conclusion, Dealing with chronic excuse makers requires setting boundaries, fostering open communication, and promoting accountability in relationships. While it may be challenging to confront individuals who refuse to take responsibility for their actions, addressing these issues directly is essential for maintaining healthy relationships and fostering personal growth. By surrounding ourselves with individuals who exhibit accountability, and integrity, we can create a supportive and empowering environment that encourages us to take ownership of our actions.